coming back. So uh, today uh, we are working on the front yard. Um, uh, we are going to remove uh, all this uh, bugs. Used to be uh, grass, so that is a uh, constant water. Now, unfortunately, you see all this uh, bees uh, growing all over the place. And it's raining all winter time. So I've been removing all those uh, rocks and put it on the backyard or the side yard or the courtyard. So it's going to be lots of uh, labor with the alpine trees. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm using the shovel and then the dustpan or whatever, the metal one to put in there. So we'll, this is the basket. And whatever it has that dirt, I'll shake it off before I dump it to the backyard or side yard so the weed doesn't grow uh, of uh, those uh, soil. So. And then uh, I'm going to put a weed barrier. Although I put some uh, weed barrier over here. You see that bug? Uh, weed barrier. The, the weed still growing out of it. So I'm not sure it's a... Uh, punctured uh, through the barrier or the fabric. Anyway, I'm going to work on it. So it's been like a couple of days. So uh, right now it's uh, 4.30 p.m. now, so almost breaking my back. So I removed most of the rock already. But uh, this side, you can see it uh, much better. I just use my hand to get all the rocks and smooth out the place. So, get ready to put the fabric for the weed barrier. And the artificial turf. I'm going to show you guys the artificial turf uh, inside the garage right now. Alright, so these are the six row of the artificial turf that I got from uh, Costco. And uh, they run about $89.99 plus tax. And I got a lot of this. It's a weed uh, barrier. And so uh, I also got this from Costco as well. It was like uh, $36 and something for that roll. So this is the backing, what's it going to look like. Hopefully the weed is not going to grow uh, over it. Yeah, it's pretty uh, thick. Hopefully it's going to look nice and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, those are the 5 feet by 7 feet. So after that, uh, at first I was going to do a uh, 50%, but now I'm doing the whole yard, whole front yard. So I bought an uh, extra online. So they deliver with the two uh, big roll. Uh, at first they was asked me if I want to cut it or not. I say yeah, uh, cut it into two roll because well, it's going to be uh, very heavy for me to carry. By the way, uh, two of those uh, roll need. Uh, two person to carry each row anyway. Alright, so I put some uh, rocks around the drain. So I need to add some more over here. As you can see, the dirt looks kind of funny, so the rocks uh, make it look more, uh, much uh, nicer. There's another drain right here. So I use this uh, bow uh, rig to get all the roots of uh, gravel that's uh, tucked under the dirt or the soil. After that, you can use this side to smooth it out. Okay. Alright, so uh, 
So you guys are tip and trick, uh, tip and tricks, uh, make sure you guys uh, lay the artificial grass first because uh, if you lay a certain uh, direction, if you uh, lay the opposite direction, one side might look lighter and the other side might look darker. So I had to swap uh, this one out. And also when you nail the stake of the nails, make sure you don't hit it in all the way yet. So you can uh, identify which nail has been going in or sometimes you nail in already you gonna miss the spot where, where you nailed it in so this i'm doing the one row at a time so that when the, when we're doing the edges i get some of the concrete that over pour you might hit it so i gotta be careful too so i was thinking about using that four inch nail but somehow i could just uh, lift it up so with this uh, six inch uh, long nail that I got from uh, eBay. Let me show you guys a nail. So here's a six inch stake. And this one with a spiral. And I use this on the edge, but I might use this uh, longer nail to punch it all the way through. Hopefully I don't crack the cement on the sidewalk, so. Yeah, so overall, So the problem with this is I, they rolled it, so it make the grass uh, flat. So you might have to use like a rake after I nail it in, and then uh, try to let it stand up. Also, they might they also say that you can also use like a silicone uh, sand to pull it down, so you can make it stand up. So. Yeah, so more work for me to do right now, so. By the way, I'm gonna show you the tricks. Before you nail it in, you wanna spread out all the artificial strand of those uh, grass away from the nail head, or else uh, you're gonna see the nail head. So just make sure you use this Then you're gonna do the same on all those uh, nails. So.
Right, so use this uh, Zagdo knife or utility knife, whatever knife that you have, and as long as it's uh, sharp. You want to fold the grass. Cut it. And there you go. I'm gonna stick it down. So as you can see, all those nails, I need to uh, nail it down. I can't believe that I used uh, one box of the 250 uh, nails already. So that's a second uh, nail box that I'm using right now. So and I haven't done uh, in the main section yet. So so I'm probably gonna use all the nails. So. All right, you two. The hard work finally uh, pays off. So this is uh, what it look like uh, for the artificial uh, turf on the front yard now. So, so you got some of this is like a high spot because when they roll it and then they wrap it with the plastic wrap. So I had to brush it uh, out later on when uh, doing like a hot weather with a broom and stuff like that or use like a plastic uh, rake to uh, let the grass uh, stem back up again. So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop any other comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. I always. Peace.